Today, a little DIY action. Or the uh, fix my aquarium with cool stuff I found from the internet challenge. That's not a thing. Well, it ought to be a thing. Huh? It's a thing. See? No problems. Hey YouTube, this is Pike Tech and Clone Outline. Hey, nice to have you back. Uh, what have you been up to? Well, I'm not going to tell you just now. Okay, whatever. Um, so, I'm going to do something different this week. This is sort of a, a new kind of thing for me. I, <laughs> I uh, did a retrofit of my Eclipse One Hood. I uh, changed the compact fluorescence out for high-powered LEDs. And i got to say, the difference is... Uh, phenomenal. Uh, this used to be a pretty dark tank and now uh, it's just super bright. I might have gone too far. So, uh, but I want to show you how I did it. It was actually pretty simple and I'll tell you all the parts and if you got one of these you can put it together yourself for around 70 bucks or so. So, stick around. Okay, so it should go without saying that the first step is to remove the fixture and the lens as well as the fluorescent light bulb. Uh, from there, taking it up, the fixture apart was actually pretty easy, just a couple of screws, and here's some wires. It's important to note that we're going to try to keep that on-off switch. And here's a little unboxing of the kit that it comes with. It comes with six LEDs of uh, different colors that you can pick. It comes with some wires, and again, a, a power cable, uh, also some thermal adhesive, and uh, last but not least, the driver that uh, powers the LEDs and connects to the main power. Uh, here's a shot of the parts and the cost for shipping to Knoxville. And that's all for that. <laughs> I was real lucky to find a heat sink that would fit in there perfectly. And it is, uh, I drilled a couple of, I drilled two holes and I used two holes that were already in the fixture, kind of in an advantageous place. And uh, I did that just to mount this uh, heat sink to the fixture. Now the LEDs have a particular orientation and it's really easy to tell uh, what that orientation is. Here I am kind of testing out the spacing. And here's the thermal adhesive. Now this is pretty interesting. I had to look it up to make sure I was doing it just right, but it seems to work just like the uh, uh, any other kind of epoxy where you just more or less mix equal proportions or close to it. I didn't exactly get it even. And uh, put a very small amount on the back. From there, you just kind of place the LED, kind of squish it into place where you want it to be, and you let it sit for about 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes to an hour, it was very easy to uh, work with. And from there, I decided to plug in the power and go ahead and daisy chain up the LEDs. As you can see, they only fit in one direction and they should be wired in just that way. The very end of your wiring is this loop back, and that's also very important. Now, aside from getting the fixture prepped by removing some of the old cables, I decided it was time to power it up and test the LEDs out. So I took the power cord and I stripped out the wires there. Uh, the instructions say the green wire is not used, so I sort of tucked that back inside of the cabling and I stripped the wires off the white and the black. Uh, from there, I used the little twisty cups to attach the brown and the blue wire from the uh, driver. And uh, the instructions say it doesn't matter what, which one connects to the black or the white. So I just wired it up and tried it out. As you can see, it worked very well, very bright. Uh, something else to mention is they come with lenses. These are 80 degree lenses and uh, they kind of spread the light out a little bit or uh, they can do different things depending on which degrees you get and they fit on just by squishing onto that little metal square that's around the LED. They have a little square spot and they will come off fairly easily. I then mounted the heat sink to the fixture uh, just using some, some screws and that was pretty simple. I just kind of tightened them up there and uh, from, at that point, it was time to go ahead and finish up the wiring. So I reconnected the power supply and I just ran the cable right there uh, into another advantageous hole that was <laughs> left in the fixture from before. And now what I wanted to do is take the red wire and interrupt its flow with the switch 
so I just attached both ends uh, or I snipped it in two and then attached either end uh, to that power switch and now I can turn the light on and off whenever I want. From there I just kind of ran the cables out and it's about time to go ahead and reinstall the lens and then get it right back onto the aquarium. Now that lens is pretty dirty, but I really just kind of wanted to make sure everything worked. <laughs> and uh, I was a little worried that it would affect the light output, but as you can see, it really didn't matter much at all. Uh, after removing the, the hood and then reattaching it, all that's left now is to uh, try the light out. And as you can see, it is very bright. It was much brighter than I really anticipated. And uh, it may be even too much for this tank, but it's a great excuse to go out and try some highlight plants. So I think my next project will be uh, replanting this tank and kind of redoing it. It's been in, uh, in kind of dim shape for a long time. So now that I've got some real lighting on there, maybe even try some CO2. So I guess we'll see. Uh, what the next project will be in there. Here's a nice shot of uh, that I did recently where you can see the difference in the fluorescent and the LEDs. Thank you guys for joining us today. Yes, thank you. And I'll include the parts list for uh, everything we talked about here today in the description of the video. Oh, great. That's a good idea. So uh, I guess we'll be back really soon with some more videos for you guys. So until that time, follow your bliss, relight those fixtures, and keep a clean tank. And fix up your stuff! Shouldn't be a thing! Oh wow, he's still going. Nice to have you back. Uh, what have you been up to? Oh, right, right, right. Well, it ought to be a thing. It should.